Hello world. This is a quick overview of the CX-10A micro drone. Uh, we're going to start out giving quick directions on unpackaging, setting it up, and basic flying. And then we'll go into more detail about maintenance, maintaining it, and uh, keeping it in flying condition. Anyways, when you open the package, you'll have instructions, which are in English per se. You'll have the drone itself, which is attached to it via little twist ties, metal twist ties. So you can undo those twist ties and just real gently, don't want to want to bend the propeller blades. Our propeller blades are small, but they're very flexible, and once they're bent, it'll fly okay but it will not make a little more noise and it will not fly totally level a lot of times if a blade is bent. We'll show you later how to replace the blades. So taking it off the card, set all that aside. Okay, so here you're looking at the back of it where you plug in the charger and the charging cord can be used with any USB charger, either the computer or for a cell phone or any USB device that charges. So you'll need one of those, which does not come with it. You also need two AAA batteries for the controller, which does not come with it. So to charge the drone on the charger, there's a little either arrow or a little clip. The little clip goes up and it just snaps onto it like that. And you just plug it in the wall, charge it till the light goes off. And that's how you charge it. Okay, that's the charger. You can additionally have a little guard to it, which is highly recommended due to not getting it caught in the cat's hair or running it into the ceiling because the ceiling likes to attract these and, and you never know what it's going to drag off the ceiling. And it just pushes onto the bottom like so. And you can just push down the center on a flat surface to make sure it's level so that when you start it up, it flies correctly. So the back of the drone is going to be where you plug in the charger. And the front of the drone, of course, is opposite. So we'll leave it like that. The controller, I'm going to pull it out of the package here. And the controls on it are you have the throttle on the left side, which is throttle down, throttle up towards the top, and back down again. To activate the drone, when you first turn the drone on, the lights will flash. You have to have the throttle down, push the throttle up for two seconds, it'll beep. Push the throttle back down, it'll beep again. And then the lights on the drone will go solid. We'll demonstrate that. For controls, left, right, right, left, forward, and reverse. The lights in the rear are red. When you're learning, always keep the lights towards you. And you can yaw it left or right, which that is yawing right, which is turning, and yawing left. So it'll turn it this way and this way. And that way you can keep the red lights towards you as you're learning. Uh, power switch, you have your trims. So you have your trim left, trim right, trim forward, Trim back. You can take it off the ground and just go straight up. If it wanders forward, push it a little bit of back. If it wanders backwards, a little bit of forward. If it wanders to the right, put in a little bit of left. If it wanders to the left, put in a little bit of right. Until you can give it throttle and it goes straight up from the flat surface. And you always have to start it on a flat surface so the gyros will be initialized. Let's put batteries in it. So, two triple A's. So, that's basically the controls. That's basically what you need to set. Once it's charged, turn it on first. The lights will be blinking, as you see. Red lights to the rear, blue lights to the front. Turn on the controller, which we'll do it this way. It'll beep once. 
Beep twice. And beep again. Now the lights are stopped. Now it is ready to fly. So I'm going to use the controller backwards here, but it will demonstrate to you. So you start out in easy mode. And it's wandering backwards a little bit, so I'll push forward twice. And that's almost, almost right. There we go. And as you see, the guard is works really well on it. Now if you push it twice, there'll be two beeps. That's in advanced mode. A lot touchier, but in advanced mode, you can do flips and other things that you can't do in easy mode. Easy mode is best to learn on. And you see as you yaw, it rotates it around. Yaw the other way, we'll rotate it around. Keeping the red lights, always to you, or pointing towards the controller, is the easiest way to learn. And left, or right, left, forward, back. You can see how that works. Okay, that's the basic way to fly. Just practice, have fun. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a little bit of maintenance here. Eventually, you're going to bend the propeller. There are two propellers in here, one clockwise rotation and one counterclockwise rotation. If you're looking at the front of the drone, it's pointing forward to the front of the drone, the blades always rotate in towards the center. So, I don't know if you can see these blades, but the blades always rotate to the center. So if you look at the top, the blades always Go in to the center, into the center, into the center, into the center. So clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. So the two clockwise ones are here, two counterclockwise one, clockwise ones are over here. But the easiest way to tell is the blade is always facing up to the middle. So these two blades are facing up to the middle. These two blades are facing up to the middle, always from the center. These are the up-facing blades. These are the up-facing blades. That's what gets most people confused most of the time is they'll pull a blade off and stick a blade on. It'll be the wrong direction. And if it's the wrong direction, it just sits there and flips over. Or it just sits up on outside and won't do anything because it always tries to keep itself low. You can always tell if you have the wrong blade on is if you do this and you feel air coming up from it, that direction, you have a blade wrong. So, it's always a good idea to maybe take a picture of it with your cell phone, of the way the blades are. Take a really close pic close up picture and see how the blades are actually on there. See the blades are facing, pointing upwards towards the center on both sides. The blade on the inside is always facing upward. Okay. That's the maintenance on that. Now, sometimes if you run into something, it'll kind of wander all over the place. The gyro needs to be reset. To reset the gyro, this one, the throttle down and to the left, and the directional control up and to the right. Hold it for a second. The lights on the drone will blink and go solid, and that resets the gyro. You can also reset it by turning it off, turning it back on, but doing that is the easy way to do it without going through the full process of turning off, turning back on, and repairing them together. If you're flying multiple ones, always pair one at a time. Because if you're pairing multiples and they're all waiting for a controller to be turned on, whichever controller turns on first will grab the first one that's turned on. And the, sometimes it can be random so you don't know which controller is matching up to which one. The controller can be used with any of them. So there's no specific controller for a drone. I hope that answers some questions. Flight time is about six minutes for the standard one and about five minutes for the camera ones. The camera ones take a micro SD card up to uh, 32 gig that you can put in them. Extra set of propellers comes with it and a charging cable. So hopefully that'll get you started.
you can always get parts on the internet. They're fairly cheap or if the drone's cheap enough you can buy another one for spares. So, hope that answers your questions and see you later.